Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. I am Novice Elaine and today I'm super excited because I'm trying this new technique. Well, new technique for me. I'm sure y'all have already done it, but I thought I would just try it out and share it with all of you out there in YouTube land. Um, today I'm going to be uh, showing you how to make this cool looking spooky witch card with some alcohol inks. Um, the Suzix Thinlets Witchcraft die cut from Tim Holtz and then some embellishments that I had bought from Michael's the other day with my 40% off coupon but uh, this is the card that I'm going to be making today for you look at that got my handmade from hashtag I am novice Elaine I will be putting in the description cost me about $5.95. I got it on eBay. It actually comes from Malaysia. I'm going to be keeping my envelope because I never had anything come from out of the country. So let's get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started here. Um, I have my alcohol inks from Ranger, the Tim Holtz collection here. I have Sailboat Blue, Sunset Orange, Purple Twilight, Citrus, with an A I cannot pronounce for the life of me, uh, Watermelon, and Sunshine Yellow. Can you see that? Sunshine Yellow. Okay, and I still have yet to get to the store to get the alcohol uh, that I do need uh, to use with the inks, but I actually use this one here, uh, and it did work the same. So from what I've seen from other videos, um, so hopefully if you all have just alcohol uh, laying in your pantry or in your medicine cabinet, you can use that. So for me, it did work. All right, so here we have alcohol ink, a uh, Yupo um, paper. Um, got at Joann's with my 40% off is what you'll be using here and cut it to your size if you would like okay uh, let's start off with colors and you don't have to use these colors these are just the colors that I thought I don't know they were three to a pack and they felt Halloweenish to me okay let's start with and I already shook these so I think I did like two three let that go. Let's try some orange. Oop, that was a lot. <laughs> Blue. Did I do purple yet? Okay, well, didn't mean to do that. The red watermelon. I never thought this was watermelon. It's real bright to be watermelon, but I love it. I love these colors. They're very vibrant. And the, like I said, this is new to me, and I was a little bit intimidated. And actually, this is the second time I'm using this. The first time was done when I did the other card just now. Um, and I was just blown away by the way the colors the colors just spread. Look at how pretty that looks. Let me clean this off here. Um, I will suggest that if you're, I really haven't read what exactly are in the inks, so I don't, I've seen other people get inked up here uh, on their fingers and they're not using gloves. I've seen other videos you wanna use gloves. Um, I didn't use gloves. I don't feel any burning sensation on my fingertips or anything like that. But then again, as you can see from my fingertips, I was using super glue earlier and uh, inking and stamping and stuff. But okay, let's go back here and let's see what kind of other colors do we want to add here? I think more of the green. Okay, I really love the purple, the purple twilight some here Ooh, put it right on top of the other let's do some happiness some sunshine yellow oh look at that it's real pretty spreading and I think I had some green earlier that I wanted to add again I think I had 
orange too. Let's do that. Now, like I said, I'm new to all this, so I don't know if I'm supposed to be adding so much of it. But what I did with the alcohol, I actually just put it on my finger because earlier on the other card, I ended up putting it on the actual paper. And it did the same thing, but I just went on it. See how it changes there? And then I was just very careful when I did that earlier. I'll show you what I did earlier. I just, please come out like I did earlier. Oop, there you go. Oops, that's a lot. But see the difference? I've seen somebody do it with a straw. I've seen somebody do it um, with, oh, look at that. See, scroll, but shiny light. So get all... Let's see here and I seen him do something whoops that came out really fast okay so I'm just gonna let that go and spread and do its magic and see what happens let it dry I'll be right back so what I did was actually add a little bit more color when I had that big old glob go on there and I just decided to pick up the paper and move it around see what it would do oops ooh creepy cool looking nice give that little effect Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dry this and I'll be back again. All right, what I've done already, it is dried. It's See how pretty that looks? I've already um, taped it onto my black cardstock. Got my cardstock here already taped up. I'm going to put it up here. I learned um, on my other card, I had put the witch on there first with all the other embellishments and I found out that it was kind of hard to glue. Um, what I mentioned earlier, um, my handmade stamp that I had ordered from eBay came in and I was so excited. I'm actually enjoying also the Memento Black ink here. Um, normally I use stays on ink. Uh, they both work fairly the same but uh, what I'm going to do here is stamp my handmade I'm really loving this it's so pretty it came from Malaysia so and then what I'm going to do is I've already have my glue dots go crazy on it for the witch and I'm gonna put my witch let's see here I'll put her right here got my little kitty kitty right over here I'll put that right on I think I've seen it like on the back here and then what's kind of tricky are the stars um, I've had them where I put the glue pick them up and then you know all that goody stuff the big ones are pretty easy to get on I got this two-way glue here that I just dab on and put one right there Here, here, just get this one here. Oopsie, getting stuck to my finger. Okay, let's put the rest of the stars on. I'll be right back. All right, I put the rest of my stars on there with using my little, uh, making memories i don't know what this little thing is called <laughs> but uh I, I believe i got it at joanne's with a 50 percent off one time that just put the stars on there you know if you want to use your fingers or whatever you have um maybe even uh, tweezers that's what i used to use before i got this and i actually like my tweezers better so you see there and what i ended up doing this time here is the Michael's Halloween's 
um, got these at Michael's. They were $4.99, but they were 50% off. And it comes with lots of cool sayings here. Not bad, just to mix and match. And it, and it just comes with different sayings, like the one that I showed you earlier for that one. Ghouls Gone Wild, Spooky, Wicked, uh, Bon Appetit. Boo. And the one that I'm going to use is, in a little while, I'm going to show you the inside. But for right now, I'm going to use Wicked. And I put I already have my 3D dots on there. I'm going to put that right here. There you go. See? Simple. On the inside of my card, what I'm going to do is, with the other card, as you can see, I just ended up um, taping... Uh, you say which like it's a bad thing on there and then you can write your little message down here uh, what I did with this one is I actually put it on a, just to make it pop out a little bit more I ended up choosing if the broom fits cackle I actually had to look that up because I had no clue what that was uh, had an idea but then I thought eh, I'm gonna look it up anyways um, and so I'm going to put this right here that way it gives you enough room kind of crook it a little bit um, Write your message, sign it, stamp your little handmade by, you know, your name there. And um, what I'm going to do later with this one here is I have some envelopes that came with this. Um, I also put my stamp there and then I'm just going to decorate it with either the monster stamp or something like a um, happy Halloween or miss you or stopping by to say hi uh, and then just stick this in the mail and uh, mail it out but uh, these are the two cards that I had made earlier I hope you enjoyed the video if you liked it please subscribe hit the like button share um, if you have any suggestions or want to share your experience with the inks as you can see how different they come out no two cards are the same. That's what I love about it. This one I made it flat. This one I made it a little bit more 3D. One is spooky. One is wicked. Uh, opening them up, they are different. So, um, like I said, uh, thank you so much for sharing this experience with me. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, hope you're having a great day. We'll see you soon. I am Novice Elaine. Bye-bye.